had a nice night on the railway, love. We had a derailment. Oh. A wagon load of ball bearings. Three hours we chased them. I must have fallen over 20 times. Oh, oh poor backside. Talk about painful. Reminds me, where's Reg? Oh, he's not down there. Oh. First go at the paper. Oh, Tor. I remember in the olden days they used to say, why do we have to have all this bad news in the paper? Well, here it is. The paper with only good news. Yes. State sewage farm passes targets. <laughs> Norfolk Collective claims heaviest pig. <laughs> Polls predict communist landslide. <laughs> Bring back bad news, I say. Here's the bad news now. So, morning, Reg. You're down late this morning. Uh. Oh, goodness, I must rush. Mr. Chafer will be chafing at the bit. As long as you're not the bit he's chafing at, sir. <laughs> Mum, please, not with Bob here. On oh, no, all about six. We had that since the third year. I wish I had. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Dad? They call it hygiene, but we know it's six. Oh. I did my revision, Dad. What? Oh, Dad! <gasps> putting the milk in the oh. coffee powder! Rich, that's a whole month's ration of coffee! I thought that was my cup. <laughs> I shall think of you at your meeting, Dad. Dad? He's a vegetable. Not another Swede. Too well then, Mum. Reg, aren't you feeling very well this morning? Oh. Uh. You've still got your pyjamas on. Off you go to school, Bob. Did more revision, Dad? Well, don't do it again. <laughs> Trine, could you spare me 20 minutes of your time in private, in our bedroom? Well, Reginald Dudgeon, 20 minutes. Still, it's 15 minutes more than usual. <laughs> and she said, bring your friend. But I couldn't get back through that door because it was locked. So I went back and met Cliff, you know, old Cliff and his motorbike. I don't know whether it was real or, or whether I dreamed it. It's like those two old ladies in the garden at Versailles. You've been overdoing it with this election. But it was like a glimpse of the old regime. But I don't know if it was real. Well, could it be real? This is 1999. We have conquer coffee for breakfast. Everybody's poor. You're talking about smoked salmon and champagne and flunkies. You dreamt it. Yeah, perhaps you're right. But well, I think I'll come back to bed. Oh, yeah, why not? Come on, then. She was so beautiful. Tall. Status quo, you know. <laughs> she, she, she was my ideal woman. That is a fact. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I didn't mean that. Get up, buzz off. No, 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 I'm not talking about someone real. I mean, she's a pigment of my imagination. I'm not having her in here with us. Well, I, I, I forget all about her. I put her right out of my mind. There. Yeah. It has gone. It certainly has, Reg. <laughs> Close the door behind you on your way out. No, no, Cliff, no. No, we went along Lenin Street, round by Ken Livingston Prospect, <laughs> past the statue of the unknown bureaucrat, <laughs> Then we turned left. No, no, we couldn't turn left because those women were digging up the road. Oh, that's right, yeah. And then that policeman made us do a U-turn back into Hendon. Hendon, yeah. And then we met the convoy in what was the Finchley Road. Oh, what is now the glorious 25th of September. That's right. <laughs> then we went up the boulevard on the 6th of April, second right into the 18th of September, right again into the 31st of February. Yeah, but there isn't a 31st of February. No, that's why it was closed. <laughs> It's closed for redating. Yeah, well, it wouldn't half help if we had a road map. Clifford, road maps are military secrets. Can't have everybody knowing where everything is. You'll be wanting road signs next. Well, I reckon it was just past Park Royal as was. Uh, yep. I'll have a bread sandwich, yep. please. <laughs> what, what, what's that? Well, it's two pieces of bread and another piece of bread in between. <laughs> 
very nice. Yeah, they do a very nice one here. Yeah? <laughs> they had lots of little delicate sandwiches at that party, and they hadn't any crusts on them. I wonder what they'd done with the crusts. Probably given them two big ducks. And they had champagne and glasses all twinkling in the lights of a thousand candle bras. <laughs> Where is it? Look, Reg, we've got to get them posters. I know what we do. How much petrol did you have in your tank? Oh, well, it came to um, up to about there. <laughs> An evil. Right. <laughs> we put the same amount of petrol in the tank, we follow the same route, and we run out of petrol in the same place. Cool. What's up? What's up, Clifford? What are we stopping for? We've run out of petrol, like you said. Here? <laughs> yeah. It's not a place, there's nothing like it. I know. But the Avenue of Progress was closed for resurfacing. And I didn't know that Venice Street goes the other way on Thursdays. Two miles out. Put some petrol in. Where's the can? You lost it. Oh, yeah. But I bought another one. Oh, good. That's bloody empty. They sell them like that. Go get some petrol. We've got to go. Those posters, Reg. Posters? You've forgotten about them. No, I had not, Clifford. I'm fully aware those posters have got to be fetched and stuck up in 49 streets. Otherwise, tonight's meeting is going to be a fiasco. Onward. We haven't got any petrol. We'll go and get some. <laughs> Rich! <coughs> Rich! This is the worst pre-election turnout I've ever seen, Dudgeon. Only three persons and one of them asleep. I will personally wake him up. I shouldn't bother. <laughs> Two or three, what's the difference? Numbers are misleading. It is the quality that counts, not the quantity. Not in elections, you blockhead. <laughs> <laughs> Comrade Persons, you did put up posters, I presume. Oh, did we put up posters? Clifford? My publicity man. Well, we never got there, did we? You kept looking for that place. Uh, there have been errors, but we have learned. We are ironing out bottlenecks and moving forward confidently. Uh, comrades, persons of all sexes, I would like to initiate the meeting by calling for three fraternal cheers for our worthy candidate, Keith Glump. Hip, hip! What? Hooray! Hip, hip! <laughs> Hooray! Hip, hip! <laughs> yes. Hooray! Comrade Persons. And now, a party political broadcast on behalf of the Communist Party. And now, a party political broadcast on behalf of the Communist Party. Political broadcast on behalf of the Political broadcast on behalf of the Communist Party. I can do no better than to quote the words of our beloved chairman, V.S. Hoskins. Rise up, go out and cast your vote, or you could get into nasty trouble. <laughs> Thank you. An inspired address, comrade. And now, a completely unrehearsed moment to demonstrate the warmth of the people of Kensal Green. Now. <laughs> He cheers us when we've got the hump, he makes us sing, he makes us jump. It's Comrade G L G M P. Yes, Comrade! Charming, charming. I will now take questions. No, we'll do without. Uh, I sense a question coming on from the lady in the white cardigan with the nice hair and the mole on her elbow. This isn't a cardigan, it's a woolly. I stand corrected. Oh, the cut and thrust. 